Ponies World podcast presents The Adventures of Buck Goodsense and Tweak Stevens. Set in the Arnigax universe, this sensational science fiction serial takes the listener deep into the boundless abyss of outer space and compels them to witness with their ears the sounds of danger and drama. Join plucky hero Buck Goodsense and his macho sidekick Tweak Stevens as they journey by spaceship to fantastic worlds and battle with strange, terrifying aliens, half-naked primitive savages, and menacing space criminals, featuring Flurf, the lovable furry fecal feaster. Why, I think I hear them now. Help! Help! Somebody save me! <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. But who are you? I'm Buck Goodsense, and those space pirates won't be bothering you anymore, ma'am. I disguised myself to look like them, and then used my superior fitness to overpower their leader, Black Soul Patch. I guess that makes me a Buccaneer. Oh, Buck. However can I repay you? <laughs> Oops, finger slipped. Careful, Dweek. Wait, isn't that the same thing you said when you were giving me that back massage the other day? What can I say? I've got butt fi- uh, butter fingers. Speaking of, I think I ate too much rancid yak butter earlier when I was pretending to be a pirate who wasn't lactose intolerant. I've got to find a space toilet fast or I'm in trouble. I need medical attention! Shut up, you ungrateful slut! Now, now, Dweek, there's no call for rudeness. Why don't you and Flurf patch the lady up while I'm gone? Moments later. Well, I didn't make it in time. I'm afraid I had to leave my pants behind. Oh, Buck. At least we rescued this girl in time, didn't we, Dweek? A minute later and those dastardly deviants would have surely had their way with her. Oh, she's dead. Darn. Just darn. No, wait a second. Where's Flurf? He must have followed you to the bathroom. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, he's got my pants. I put a smelly in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in for more thrilling tales like this one in the adventures of Buck Goodsense and Dweek Stevens. Welcome back to Goonies World. I am Ryan, also known as me, and I am joined by Colin, also known as... Goonie. Goonie. Yes, he's Goonie. After whom this whole thing is named, and also on my right is Sean, also known as... Johnny Farrow. Johnny (laughs) Farrow. But I didn't name the podcast after myself. No, you can't. I didn't even name it. It was, that, was that was my idea. Yeah. Yeah, I take credit I'm for very, that one. Very Shiny humble. Pharaoh named the podcast. <laughs> I'm the most humblest person there is. Uh, after the, Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so, um, I believe we left our intrepid heroes, Buck Goodsense and Dweek Stevens, en route to Sector... ZZ9 ZZ9 Z plural Z Alpha Right? I'm the only Douglas Adams fan at this table, clearly uh, I, I I haven't got in I haven't cracked into his books yet I, I'm, a fan, I'm a fan in theory And I, I have read the books But I was in 7th grade Worth a revisit Yes, I'm sure Sector ZZ9 Z plural Z Alpha ZZ9 plural Z Alpha Oh yes, I added an extra Z in there Dweek, that's why we're a little behind schedule And uh, I believe Flurf is with us as well, the ambassador from the... Hello, I'm so hungry <laughs> Do you have any poop? <laughs> well <laughs> um, I have not been giving him any poop at all So he probably is starving well, no, I've been uh, forgetting to flush. It's just the only 
you know, it's polite. Yeah. yeah. It's for a cultural. Oh, so he, he's trying to play a trick, and like any kind of pet, like where they try to pretend like they've never been fed. Now, Dweek, he's, he's not just a pet. He's an important mm-hmm. ambassador. Suck a well. turd out of your butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, see. It's cultural differences. Cultural differences. You know. Uh, well. You've been uh, flying towards uh, the planet of what you believe are brain worms yes. for uh, a couple weeks now. It's it's a great distance away. I don't remember if that's consistent with <laughs> what I said last time, but well, you know, like I said, I added that extra Z. Oh, so yeah. And speaking of Z's, um, the captain is catching some. Is catching some in the uh, medical chamber. Let's hope that's all he's caught. And um, as you are approaching this strange green planet and preparing to uh, let it capture you into orbit, you hear a... Uh, Whoa, is that my dad? Is that coming from the medical pod? I don't know. I know we strapped him down, so... But he was... I Hopefully he didn't get out of those. Maybe uh, we should check it out. I'll go check it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you go first. No, Fleur, if it's too <laughs> dangerous. If he was calling, if he was saying, Fleurf, then I would let you go, but I can't. Maybe he has some poop. Well, he could be completely yeah. decomposed by now, so let's check it out. I will, uh, buck good sense, will carefully go over to the medical pod, gingerly lean forward. So leaving the, uh, <clears throat> the cockpit. Yes. And heading back towards the med bay, you see the captain in restraints in the sort of pod. Uh, almost, no, it's not a back to tank, but... You know, similar kind of idea. It's not filled with liquid or anything, but um, but he's in a stream, and he, he's, his eyes are open. He's like, "Damn it, good sense. What's the meaning of this?" Well, you know, uh, you you uh, were behaving a little unprofessionally. I think maybe is the right word for yeah, it. Yeah, like you were biting and uh, yeah. acting very. Uh, Unprofessional, you, you, as he said. Yeah, you were not yourself. The Admiral himself, I believe, uh, uh, has ordered that you be kept to, uh, you know... I should to point out that he looks to be in a state of decomposition. <laughs> yeah, I mean... What's wrong with my face, Buck? We're, that's, that's what we're trying to figure out, Captain. Uh, but yeah, I, you understand we can't have you uh, potentially contaminating the rest of us, right? You Do don't we? have to call him Captain anymore because you're the interim Captain. Captain, and uh, you're just Mr. Clancy right now. Well, I believe regulations don't prohibit a certain sign of respect. He'll always be a captain to me. That being said, though, no, I am actually the, uh, the captain, interim captain, if you ask some people, but basically a captain. Well... And I think it's best if we uh, we get some uh, someone you know with more of a scientific brain to look into your condition here. I mean, Dweek hasn't had time; he's been terribly busy over these last few weeks. Why don't you get the admiral on the line? And we'll sort it out. Uh, maybe it wouldn't hurt to let the admiral have a good look at you. What do you think, Dweek? Sure, if he uh, wants to see what's become of this man, I think he'll act. In- Rationally and do the right thing. Yeah, I mean it's nothing personal at all, Captain. I just feel that you're you're you've some kind of alien contagion from these these uh, these foul aliens. That uh, what do you remember? What because we were off world um, and we don't know what exactly what happened. If there's anything you could tell us, that might help. Yes, you're clearly changed, sir. I've just been in this damn med bay for. I don't even know how long. You don't remember anything before that? No. Like so slugs or maggots or something? Slugs or maggots? No, that doesn't sound familiar at all. <laughs> well, wonder if we should give him a nice x-ray. Sure, yeah, let's... <laughs> Is that even possible with our technology? I've been so busy flying this ship. Well, we've got this med bay here, but I don't know about it. I, I, 
we're not a freaking x-ray machine. This is the, yeah. this is the hospital. Yeah, well, we need to get him to got some kind of scanner. I, I mean, this is a space. We're on a spaceship. Well, I think getting him to the hospital is a great idea. But if you if you really insist on speaking to the uh, the admiral, I think it, we owe you that we owe you that uh, courtesy at the very least. Yeah, you do have you do have like little handheld scanners. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like multi-purpose. Why don't you give him a devices? Why don't you give him a little scan there, Just Dweek? See what comes out of this. Yeah. All right. Make it lasers. Oh. That goes six. Whoa. Yeah, he, he seems fine, as far as you can tell. I mean, it, <laughs> he looks terrible, and you know, like we might have to rely on the judgment corpse, of our eyes like here. A, <laughs> but but the as far as the scan, you I, looks fine. Yeah. Everything's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm telling you. Just let me out of here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I gotta be honest with you. I'm feeling conflicted about this. Perhaps this is a, <laughs> a call for the Admiral. Yeah. Well, I, I hate to irritate should, uh, the guy. Well, we also kind of have to let him know we're almost there. Admiral uh, Harold, I think his name was. Well, he's always just... Admiral, sir, to me. I don't get too familiar. <laughs> but maybe we should call him up. If the captain thinks he can clear everything up with him. I don't want to be accused of keeping the captain in prison in a medical bay just so I can continue to serve as interim captain. Yeah, that's what I would, I would be. In, uh, you know, insubordination and all kinds of bad stuff you don't want. You know, yeah. But, you know, if this involves you getting out to go talk to him, I'm afraid I can't allow that. Just put him up on the view screen. All right. Well, we'll call him up on the view screen then. All right. Get out of the way, Fleur, if I'm getting over here to the view screen. All right. So you dial, yeah. dial up the Admiral. Dial up the Admiral. Uh, the Admiral appears on the, on the screen. Um, <clears throat> Hello, sir. Ah, good sense. Well, we're just, uh... Have you arrived? What, we're, we're, uh, we'll very shortly do in orbit around, uh, CZ9 plural Z Alpha. And we had a little bit of an extra Z problem earlier, but that's been completely, uh, worked out. Uh, Admiral, we hate to bother you with such a routine matter, but, uh, the captain has awoken and, uh, well, demands to speak with you. That's right. Yes, uh, uh so I'm putting you on here with him. How are you? Whoa. He's healthy now, right? Well, you take a good look yeah. for yourself. He appears to be decomposing. But uh, nothing came up on the scanners, so we're not sure what's going on here. Yeah, figured figured we'd uh, turn this one over to you and let your wisdom guide us. After all, you're not an admiral for nothing. Mm, he looks fine to me. And, you know, the admiral's just not acting... Make a feelings roll, buddy. Hmm. Five. Oh, I succeed with a five, yes. Uh, I, th- I assume you both do. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, the Admiral's just not acting the way you would expect. No. And he says, uh, I think you should just let him out and let him be the captain. Let him take over his duties. Uh, yeah. oh, what do you no. say, good sense? Oh, no, uh... I started adjusting the knobs and all. I think um, we're, you know, we're having some interference, some nebula, uh, random uncharted nebula having a uh, can't. Uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, I didn't catch that last part. Well, uh, you got the message. I'm gonna click it off as soon as I can. See if that works. Uh, I well, don't believe there's a really. It, you shut the. You shut the, the. Yeah, I fake some interference just to cover my ass if there's a problem, <laughs> and then turn it off. Disconnect if possible. Defying your commanding officer, good sense. Uh, I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm afraid you're just gonna have to remain there in the medical bay. I will. I will count on. Uh, the record will bear me out on this. I feel quite confident. What do you think, Dwee? I I agree. Uh, the, this man is not right, and neither is the admiral, which is very disturbing. It well, seems fine to me. What are you talking about? No, I think maybe. I think maybe you're influencing the broadcast somehow. Nonsense. Well, you were all too eager to speak to the... You know, what's the beauty of this is, is that you're, as far as I know, secured inside this 
medical uh, pod. Yeah, these space zip ties are really tight. Yeah. Cutting yeah. into my skin. I'm sure that that's very bad. Tweak, is there a way that you can increase the gas content in there to put him to sleep or something for a while? Oh, I've got all kinds of ways of putting men to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're not going to let me, you're definitely not going to put me to sleep. And he starts struggling oh, against oh, the restraints, no. and his, like, his rotting flesh is just, like, cutting into, like, calm down, Clancy. I'm going to get out of here one way or the other, and we're going to go to CZ9 Plural Z Alpha. Why do you, what, what do you want to do there? What's your plan? Oh, you'll see when we get there, Stevens. And he keeps struggling. All right, we got to put him out quick. Yep, we might have to do this the old-fashioned way. It was a good, uh, good punch to the temple. Well, we've got, we've got tasers, right? Um, and, and feelings. Uh, set to tase. <laughs> set to stun. Does stun make people? Oh yeah, we have our phase pistols. Phase pistol default. It's default set to stun. Right. Yeah, maybe we should just give him a nice stun. We can try that. I mean, I know you can hear us talking, but of course I can. Yeah. Hey, deaf. Hey, wait a minute, Captain. I think you got something on your lapel there. Let me get that for you. And I'll tag him with the taser. Uh, Lasers. No! Well, you, I mean, you like, point blank him mm-hmm. with it, but it doesn't stun him. It just seems to piss him off. He's... God damn it, Buck. All right. Well, I think, obviously, though, this this man is not in his normal capacities. So, let the... In fact, I... Let the record reflect. I'm going to give him a feeling to break his restraints. Yeah. Uh Do it, Captain. But he fails. That's right. Just lay easy, Captain. Something's wrong with you. We're going to figure it out. We need to get you to a serious hospital. A planet with hospitals. He fails to break the restraints, but his, one of his, his right arm slides like this. It just peels the flesh right off of his wrist yeah. and down of his hand. And like It's like t- we're taking off a skin glove and the bony fucking animated tendons and bones of his fingers. Like, And he starts grabbing at you. Uh, whoa, whoa, captain, 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 take it easy. All right, Dwayne. Told you I was gonna get out of here, Buck. Captain, don't make this, don't make this get nasty. Right. Oh, can I eat that? Oh, that's disgusting. I don't think you should eat that, Flurf. No. Uh, Captain, if you uh, break those restraints, I will not hesitate to set this fa- as face pistol to kill. Don't make me do it, Captain. We had a lot of good times together, Captain. <laughs> do your worst, Buck. Well. Dweek, uh, let's get Flurf behind us and back up to the doorway here. His left arm against the restraints as hard as he can. Captain, I'm not going to show you unless you uh, really force the issue. Uh, Alright, well, I'm going to give him a roll. And the exact same thing happens. It seems... Uh, and his legs are still tied down, but now his, both of his arms are free. <coughs> and he tries to lunge over and and grab you. Uh, but he misses. All right, Tweak, get him. All right, I'm. I think I've seen enough. Yeah. I'll I'll shoot him. Save me, Tweak. I'm gonna shoot. Set to kill. Yeah, I think you possibly both should. I don't know. Yeah, I, I was thinking the exact same thing, but not if it's lasers. I miss. Yeah, I got a four. <laughs> Look out! Ow. And the ship, uh... I mean, you're not gonna blow a hole in the side of it or anything, but, um, so sparks start raining down, and... And he's still... God damn it! Yeah, well, I, I know what I would do. I'd just do it again. Brace yourself. Twig, aim! We gotta get this guy. Okay, yeah, he's not I... right. He's not right. Captain, we're sorry, but something's not right with you. Gotta adjust. No! It's not in the cards. 
And Dweek oh, nails him. Dweek, you're a marksman. And the captain slumps over in the med bay, which immediately begins, like, <sighs> trying to, like, save him. <laughs> heal him. Uh, well. I and think we'll, we can both agree that was not the activity of a healthy man. No, we should have spaced him when we first saw him. I'm starting to agree with you. And now we probably should do that. Make sure he's gone. I, I have to I have to agree with you, but we need, <laughs> we need to document all this thoroughly. I don't want to be able to tribunal for murdering my own captain. Well, especially if the higher-ups is... <laughs> <laughs> are all uh, somehow compromised. Although, if that's the case, then we're doomed in any, in any way. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, let's space him. Let's make sure he's actually gone. You go up and make sure he's actually gone, Tweet. All right, I will slowly walk over to him uh, and observe him. Do I see any breathing? You don't see any breathing. He might not have been breathing to begin with, I don't know. But you do see... Like, the, the skin, like on the back of his neck, kind of... Rippling. Ugh. Oh, he's got... He's Brain worms. Yeah. We gotta get him out of here. We gotta kill that brain worm. That's right. Okay, well, I'm going to... I'm going to just keep, like, aiming my phaser at that wound where it's rippling. Um, wait for something to poke its head out. I'll creep up behind him and look over his shoulder. Well, so you, you, you got your gun point. How close are you? Uh, I would say I'm like a couple feet away, probably. And I'm right behind him. Okay, well, faster than you can respond or react, from the back of the captain's neck, a small version of the slimy maggot brain worms from before shoots out yeah. at, directly at your face. Ah! Whoa! All what right. do you do? Um, I would try to swipe it away. If I, you know, see how fast I am. <laughs> so it you miss trying to slap it away and it lands on your face and begins trying to crawl up your oh, nose. Oh, no. Well, I was behind Dweek earlier, so I'll reach my arms around Dweek and reach up onto his face, you know, and try to grab this thing and pry it off of him. Okay. Hurl it away. Is this lasers or feelings? Uh, this sounds to me like... Feelings? I feel like it's gut feelings. I really do. Yeah. And, uh, yes, I do. I grab it off of his face. <laughs> well, it, it's trying to, like, get up his nose. And, no. you, and, you, and you grab it between, I mean, it's not very big. It's much smaller than the ones you saw yes. before. Get it, Buck. Um, and you, you get it, and, and you rip it away from him. Um, what do you do with I it? I think I'd like to try to crush it. All right. It's just in my fist to where juice... I won't even run. make it roll for it. You just... And it just, like... It's slimy goo, gelatinous Ew. ick just, like, runs down your arm. Ugh. Don't eat that, Flurf. Uh, are you sure? I feel pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh. These are very nasty little things. I, I'm going to go run and wash my hand off, I guess, you know. Drop it in the garbage Gar disposal or whatever. Yeah, I'm going to drop it in the garbage <laughs> disposal and then rinse my hand. It's just, oh, that's disgusting. It is very, very, very disgusting. Better take some antibiotics just in case. Probably not a bad idea. Yeah. Ah, now, now we're going to do it with the captain's body, the poor bastard. Told you he wasn't himself. Too bad we didn't get photographic evidence of all this. But that being said, we could be doomed anyway. I know that it makes me very disturbed to fly around with him here like this. We should uh, put him out the airlock. Yes. I'll let you take care of that, Dweek. I have Captain Business to attend to. Oh, thanks. Okay. Yeah, I will uh, t 
tend to that. All right, so you... Uh, we already had a funeral for us, so we him, do that again. Yeah. You unstrap him out of the med bay, and are relieved that he just falls limply to the floor. Um, and you... How do you get him to the airlock? Drag him. Uh, All right, well, he smears. Yeah. <laughs> across the floor. <laughs> I'm... I'm Dragging him by his ankles. I'm not gonna even touch the upper part of his body. Ugh. So yeah, he's gonna smear a lot. Okay, so you like leave this, ca- this smear of Captain Goo Captain all smear. the way to the airlock. Well, Captain never comes out. Where you open the door and drag him in and exit and close the door. <coughs> The sound of <clears throat> air rushing out of the airlock. The captain is spaced, or you assume. Spaced, 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 spaced. The final frontier. Well, their good captain now does face that final frontier. It was almost robbed from him by the brainworm menace. I'm more committed than ever, Dweek, to going and uh, putting an end to this brain-sucking race once and for all. So, now... Both the uh, brain worm infected captain and the apparently compromised admiral were quite adamant about you going to this planet. Well, they were. <laughs> yeah, they? which should make us uh, worry a little. <clears throat> and they want us to join <laughs> them, probably. Well, we're, we're going to have to turn the tables on them then. Let well, them think we're... I've been... You know, last time we, uh, well, last time, last time we decided, uh, we wanted to, uh, work out some ideas, maybe, like, I was working with slime, I was gonna, we were gonna try to pretend, um, that we were these things. <laughs> I've been working on a costume, you know. You have? Uh, yes. Wow. And I figure you, it's like a two-part thing, you can, you, you got the front section, and I, I... <laughs> Get the back section of this slug thing. Well, what about Fleur? Right in the middle, I guess. <laughs> but <laughs> I think there's room. Well, there's always room for a little Fleur. It's, it's like the like the human Fleur human centipede. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's check out this uh, costume you've got. And you say you've been some developing yeah. some slimes and molds to go along with it, just to add that extra realism. Yeah, just to get because you got to get it. Uh, slippery, you know. Well, it's all about the viscosity. I agree completely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's check so this thing I've been out. Working with Vaseline <laughs> and some other concoctions of my own. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I use that um, that semi-rigid um, uh, umbilical. <laughs> oh cord. yeah, of course. Yeah. I remember that fondly. Yeah. So it, it, it makes a good uh, slug, actually. So <laughs> you just climb in the front there and. I'll, I'll get in after you. That should allow us to spy out the situation (laughs) without being noticed. So you've taken the semi rigid. We've got to practice, like, you know, our maneuvering around and stuff. Sure, sure. (laughs) All right. So you've taken the semi rigid umbilicus and fashioned it into a large brain worm costume. Which, you know, it might be, you know, looking at it, Buck, you think that, I mean, you guys are larger than the largest of the brain worms that you saw. And if you can actually convince them that you're this giant brain worm, you know, maybe you can be their leader or something. But you think that the best way to do that might actually be... Like, if you, if you, like, get in and then actually, I mean, because you, you, could, you could go behind. If, if Dweek goes behind you, mm-hmm. and then you're really long, but you might, you know, if, if you want to get... Mount? If, yeah, if you want to get uh, more girth, <laughs> then you might want to, you might do, ha, let Dweek get on yeah. top of you. Well, sure, sure. That makes sense. Yeah, Dweek, you might have to mount me. I mean, we really want to maintain the proper... 
you know, intimidation and awe that, that we should command. You might just have to, to get on there real good. Don't be afraid. Well, uh, it's not something I want, but... I mean, gosh. Well, it's not something either of us want, but, you know, sometimes we just have to do things even when we don't want to. That's what being a hero is all about. So mount me. Oh, boy. All right, so... <clears throat> and Flurf, don't forget, you're in the middle. Oh, you can squish me. No, it's not going to be that squishy. Don't worry. I rock hard. <laughs> He's talking about I'm his, talking about my glutes your and my abs lower and back that you're going to be squashed against. Okay. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> I just imagine, like, an exterior shot. But how this, are we going to move spaceship? when we're all, like, stacked on top of each other? Well, you just got to... It's all about, like, the pelvic thrusting and, like... Yeah, it's yeah. just got to get this, this kind of rocking, crab-like motion. Okay, I'll just shift my lower back up into you like so. Oh, yep, yep. <laughs> Felt that. Yeah, I think your I think your holster. Okay, or we got to get a rhythm going. Yeah, is that a flashlight? Yeah, I think you got a flashlight. I've been there or something. I've, I've been thrusting forward, and you've been thrusting back. Um, and well, I, there, we'll try it like this. It doesn't just. It, we we'll just get into a groove there, like a light yeah. little rhythm. Well, you practice um, moving around the on the deck of the ship um, for a, for a while, but it, you know you realize that it's really hot. Uh, with, with, you know, with this umbilicus. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I forgot to put air holes in this thing. Yeah, ventilation. Boy. Yeah, I wonder know, if I was. <laughs> maybe I need to take my shirt off and air this out a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's let's try this again. Let me. In fact, but you know what? Let me just all the way down. All the way down. Oh, yeah. boy. I know. I know. It's, it's, you gotta be professional, you gotta rise above the awkwardness. Alright, let me just completely get... Look, the body... Th- this isn't what I signed up for. I, I, it's, it's definitely not. This is exactly what you signed up for. And uh, it's what you've always dreamed of. When you dreamed of being a hero, this is the time to put aside your personal homophobia, Dweek. Ah, I just... It's just so gross. Well, over... You know, uh, over tempered. Feel like I need to call my wife. And no, well, yes, call your wife. Overheating is a terrible, a terrible way to go. You could get dehydrated. Yeah, we get dehydrated, even though we're covered in all this slime that you've developed. Um, no, we're just gonna have to get naked and slimy and crawl into that semi-rigid umbilicus and work out our rhythm and and destroy those brainworms. This is the only way that I think it's the only plan we've left ourselves. I mean, look at all the work you've put into it over the last few weeks. You really want all that to go to waste? <sighs> well, yeah, okay, all right. You, you, you certainly put up as much resistance as any man could possibly be expected to put up. Oh, yeah, I mean, while you were talking, I'm pretty much naked now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've made my complaints. Oh, yes, I, you are. Yes, you are. You know, I've done all I can. Careful, though, Flurf. St- step back, Flurf. He's naked. That's dangerous. <laughs> I'm scared. Well, don't be scared. All right, well, I think we know how to make this work now. It's certainly hot, but uh, now we'll just have to go check our... Let's check our screens to see how close we're getting to... Uh, CZ nine Z plural Z alpha. I know that I've not got that name exactly <laughs> right, but I've got it saved in the ship's computer. I'm gonna pull up open recent, and there we go. Yes, you had uh, you had it programmed to let it capture you into into orbit and uh, <clears throat> decelerate to circularize the orbit, and uh, you're now in a stable orbit. Nice. Some couple hundred miles. Above the surface, you could begin a re-entry burn. Um, You could scan the planet. Were you so inclined to see if you could find perhaps where these foul creatures sharpen their knives reside? Well, yes, I think that's a wise idea. And we've got this big expensive scanner right here. Let me put it on. Power on scanner. And, uh, uh, Dweek, you're usually pretty good with machines. What do you say? Give this planet a scan so you can find any concentrations of life forms or 
slug cities or slug temples or uh, any other sort of thing. Oh no. Yeah, um, <clears throat> you, there's, that was lasers, of course, and, mm -hmm. uh, you, you it, it, it seems like there's nothing here at all. Like you've come to the wrong place. You're in the right place, you're sure of it, but... Well, we might have to take her in, take her down, and look with it. Yes, I have a suspicion that they're underground, because they are worms. Yeah, oh, good thinking, good thinking. Yeah. Well, let's take her in and just keep our eyes open the old-fashioned way. If they're underground, maybe there's some sign of their cities, like giant ant hill type things with smoke billowing out. We never know. Uh, it could also be that uh, the scanner is not everything they said it was. You know, I don't know where we put the manual, but you know, you never think to save those things. But uh, like I said, that even an idiot could use it. So, <coughs> wish we had an idiot here. Then maybe they could use it. But <laughs> now, Flurf, uh, this could be a very uh, dangerous mission, and no one's no one's twisting your arm here. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a let's let's do a reentry burn since we can't really tell much from out here. Let's go into this unknown world. That's what we signed up for in the first place. All right, we'll make a lasers roll. Explore unknown sense. worlds. Here we go. No. Oh, I think things are not going well. <clears throat> yeah, that was not a that was not a great roll. Um, no. Yikes. So you I've never done this naked before. But <laughs> you uh Yeah, we're trying to do that in a costume, but like uh so yeah. So you initiate a re-entry burn and you begin entering the atmosphere you can tell I mean because it's because bumpy you know when you're in space it's nothing you know you're just like cruising out and it's smooth sailing yeah you get it's great in space this part always sucks but um, apparently the atmosphere uh, of this planet which you would have been able to tell had your scan been successful is 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 more dense than you had anticipated and you're not able to slice through it in fact you bounce off back into an even higher orbit well actually that, that physics would work probably but <laughs> you bounce back into orbit anyway uh, failing to and and you're not sure you might want to scan the ship for damage you're not uh oh it made some funny noises yeah I don't like the way she sounds uh, <clears throat> you know again you're better with the mechanics and things than I am I'm really? more of a go with my gut kind of guy. But uh, I have times I regret it. I'm just the opposite, actually. I have a two. Uh, that's what makes us such a great team. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. There's no damage. It's fine. Yeah, it's, we're good oh. to go. Well, good, good. I gotta tell you, this atmosphere is super thick. We have to figure out a way we can penetrate it. Oh boy, yeah. And I don't know if we can even live on it. We might need to... Do we have pressure suits or something that we can... Let me go check the, uh... Well, it's, we'll remember, we're, we're in the slug costume. Uh, well, I know, but... That's gonna kill us, probably. Well, there's... I don't think it will kill you. No? Once we land, we've got to burrow into the ground, I think. Well, maybe. I... Maybe. <laughs> well, first of all, we have... We can't land until we can penetrate this dense atmosphere, so... Maybe I ought to give this another shot. Uh, Let me try going thrust. in at a different angle this time. A little, a little shallower. Yeah. Let me slide it in gently. Yeah, to the left. Yeah, don't cram it in there. No. Just gentle. Oh, that's that's more like it. That's not quite as bumpy. No, it's still bumpier than space, of course. But uh, yes. but yeah, you manage when you you know you get the plasma artifacts and reentry burn and stuff, but of course your ship is atmosphere capable, um, so no problem there, and uh, within just a few minutes, um, you find yourself soaring above an ocean. Well, they're not uh, underground, maybe, but they're underwater, but surely this ocean doesn't cover the whole planet. Let's take a look around. Maybe you could try scanning again now that the thick atmosphere is uh, That's right. <clears throat> not. It's been bouncing that scanner off just like. Mm. 
You want to give it a shot? Yeah, I, let me do it. I'm not sure you're... Hang on. First, you got to file, edit, open, scan. Hey, laser feelings! Oh. Ooh, where are they? That's my question. Where Fair do we go? question. Um, your scan detects a, a large settlement. Indeed, like the size of a metropolis. Oh my, slug city. Um, to, to the north and east, which is, e- east is the direction you're facing, and just to the north and east of where you're at, uh, it looks like you'll be there in about ten minutes. Well, see, Dweek, it's all, all all in the reflexes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, don't worry. I'll, I'll keep showing you the right way to do things. You just stick with me. Now, it's a good thing we've got this costume. Let me squeeze back in here. Excuse me. Out of the way, Flurf. <laughs> so, <clears throat> a few minutes pass, and uh, you are flying over this vast worm city. I mean, these, these buildings are constructed of, I mean, they look like solidified gelatin or something. It's, they don't look like any kind of buildings you've, you've, you've seen, but there's a giant, oh, it looks like a park or, or, or something where there's no, there's no buildings, buildings. slime buildings, yeah. jelly um, buildings. And, and they're just, it's just full of these brain worms. And, uh, oh, we're getting a tan. It's like, the, it's like, a, it's like the, 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 Mall at the Capitol or whatever, but um, yeah, it's like a parade. And, and at the far end, there's like what you could only describe as like a stage, and uh, you see like there's some kind of ceremony or something going on. Whoa! And Flurf points and excitedly says, oh, it's the start effect. It's the start effect. There it is. And That's you what see, we gave for. sitting on the, uh, on the stage as the sort of center of attention is this start effect. We've got to get that start effect. Does this start effect do anything, or is it just because like, it's like an heirloom or something? Or? Yeah, it's just a, for, for a family relic. All right. Well, uh, we need to land close. We need to get in there and get that. Well, just walk maybe out. We, we shouldn't. Just, we just go out there confidently, mm-hmm. like we're supposed to do it. We could be back at the ship and fly it off before anyone ever knows. I mean, we could. That's your way to just. <clears throat> you always just go in, like kind of the front door method. I try. I like to go in the back door method. Like, well, I'm interested in hearing more about some backdoor you know, methods if you've got any ideas. I'm, 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 you know, I'm a little bit more stealthy, so I think maybe we should um, just kind of s- land farther away and sneak up to this uh, kind of group and, and just kind of warm ourselves in and pretend like we're just one of them, and then we'd kind of sneak a little bit closer and a little bit closer, and then... Um, and then we just go for it. <laughs> well, Dweek, if you have more, you've had more intelligence training than I have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, a good captain delegates. So we're gonna go with your plan here. All right. You hear that, Flurf? We gotta be quiet. Oh, okay. Sneaky, sneaky. All right. Well. I'm so hungry. Let me see if I can't take her down. Just, just my waist, about half a, half a mile away. Just, just enough for a, a good run. See if there's even a good place to land. There could only be designated areas, for all I know. Um, <clears throat> make a feelings roll. Let me take, let me fly around. And let's get a look at this place. Um, nope. I can't find anything. I can't find a good spot anywhere. It's building all jelly. after building after building. Well, I don't hmm. know. See if you could fe- see if you could see anything, Dweek. I can't find a good spot. I believe that's oh, laser feelings. laser feelings. Yes. Oh. You get to ask any questions. Okay, well, where is there a good place to land? Uh, you spot um, what appears to be a, a good place to land. It's a little far 
it's more like a mm, three quarters of a mile. Yeah. But um, yeah. it's clear. You got um, eyes like an eagle. Dick. And uh, I mean, from flying over this this city, it doesn't. I mean, it looks like all these things are at this event or whatever. Like, there's nobody. None of them want walking or slithering around the streets or anything. Um, okay, it'd be a great place to wipe them all out. So you you. I assume you do land. Yeah, we'll take her down nice and easy. Right here. A little far out, but this should do nicely. Now, we gotta get across three quarters of a mile wearing this slug costume. Well, this is the part I just dread. Well, you know, we practiced this, for this. All this friction and moving and, you know, it's... It's gonna be rough. Well, it's gonna be rough, that's for sure. So it's a rough trade that we're in, right? Yes, isn't it? it is. It really is, but we, we do what we have to do. Can I just stay here and watch the ship? That's probably best for your safety, but yeah. you know, don't don't eat anything strange. No. You stay yeah. right by the ship, Flurf. Don't go running around. And uh, <laughs> so I assume you take your clothes off and get back in the semi rigid umbilicus. Yeah, I never put mine on. Ah, so yeah. yeah. I, I didn't bother either. Just re-slather yourself up with Vaseline and slime. Yep. Yeah. And, and yeah, I mean, for duty. For duty, we will. Slide yes. back into the umbilicus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> and you notice that the trail of goo on the floor is, seems to have been mopped up already, leading to the airlock. Hmm. Flurf! <laughs> <laughs> Told you not to. Well, no, well, you know what, Fleur, if We don't have time to deal with this right now, but we're gonna get, we're gonna have a good long talk when we get back. You shouldn't eat strange things. <laughs> so, Boy, <laughs> yeah, I was actually thinking maybe Fleur, if I just like if I accidentally shard or something, then maybe I'd give you a little snack, a little treat. Aww. But not anymore, because you're. <laughs> Disobeyed orders. Ah, Flurf. Well, like I said, we're going to have to have a long talk about this um, when we get back. But right now is not the time to deal with this. Stay and watch the ship. You get a chance to earn back my trust here, Flurf. Okay. You got to be a good ambassador for your people. Anyway. Come on, Dweek. Here. Ah, get in there real good. We got Okay, let's go. We got a long walk. Long squirm. All right. Well, it takes... Like 45 minutes at least um, of pelvic thrusting and grunting and uh, sliding against each other's flesh. Um, oh boy. <laughs> but you do eventually get to what the, the back side of this uh, event. I have arrived. <laughs> I mean, we have arrived. Yeah, well, we're, we're here at the back door, just like you wanted. Rear, <sighs> entry. Rear entry. Here we go. Now, let's. Of course, I don't understand a word these. Wait, they did speak to us last time. Did they? I think they said something to us. I don't, well, think I don't so. remember. I, I fought so many aliens in my career, going way back. Uh, but. I don't want to get into that right now. What are we seeing here now? We've come up on the back end of this rally. Um, well, you don't see an immediate obvious way to get from here. I mean, aside from just, like, going around and <laughs> to the front and up the, up a ramp. I mean, there's not, there doesn't seem to be, like, a back door. Yeah. There's always a back door. You can always have push to look our way, hard enough. Just push our way through the crowd. And you... We're bigger than all the rest of them. Actually do, uh, upon inspection, find a, uh, a, a tunnel. Ooh. A little stage management going on here. Here. Let's get into this tunnel. We're just going to wiggle down in here. And it's just barely... Wide enough because they're little people for you guys to squeeze together, <laughs> and it kind of it seems like it gets slightly narrower yeah. as, and so, so you pressed even more tightly together as you squirm and thrust. Good thing we didn't leave 
Good thing we didn't bring Flurf. I don't know, there been room for all of us. Yeah. Oh, this will get us up cr on the other side of that crowd soon enough. Just bear with it. And oh. it, uh... It begins... Uh, angling upwards. I think we're coming up and out. I think we're reaching the end. And, uh... You... Come to, like, uh... The what's well, clearly clearly the exit, um, and do you, if, if you if you leave out this sort of hole, it'll pop you out onto the stage itself. Okay, this is what we're gonna have to do. Let's just go there again. Now is the time for bold action. So, all right. So we want to just once we pop out, then we want to get out of our costume so we can like shoot that other thing and take the I mean because once you know once we come on stage uh, there's going to be uh, all eyes on us and um, they don't have eyes well well, they're going to sense us they're going to sense somewhere. how big and powerful this weird slug creature we are is that's what they're going to sense they probably respond to that they kind think of we're thing. like the alpha male that's and right we are the alpha male just look at us compared to them. So then they'll maybe just give us that start effect. Yeah, we'll yeah. take the art. Like we'll a crown, you know. That's right. And then, and then you, since you're more social than I am, you can command them to uh, to stop molesting the human race and leave us in peace. Yeah. I don't know how I would... Well, okay. I'll just sort of pantomime that. Yeah, she's the international language. I'll use you as a sort of a dummy doll thing and sort of pantomime not how to molest, you know, like I'll do a molesting sort of uh, movement and then I'll say like, no. <laughs> Bad. Whatever, I'm, I'm right you know, there with you, buddy. Whatever like, you got to do to get the point across to these miscreants. Okay, so, uh, all right. All right, so... Uh, you were about to pop up out of the trapdoor onto the stage and do some molesting, some demonstrations against against violence. Molesting. And uh, yeah, but first thing we got to do is pop up and just immediately go for that start effect immediately. Yeah, yep. Let's do it. Let's pop, pop. All right. <clears throat> well, you. It's not much popping. It's more. It's more like getting shat up out of an anus. <laughs> you just sort of wriggle and squeeze your way up. But well, it's a long pop. They, uh, they, they immediately all start behaving. As soon as you begin appearing, they start all sort of acting slightly different. Um, you suspect they're communicating something. Uh, they don't seem to be yes. aggressive. But they bow down to us. But you uh, eventually extrude yourself out of the uh, the hole and find yourself. And we got to show off our uh, girth, you know, because it's bigger off. than theirs. Uh, yeah. We're we got a we're like a, a chode, big chubby chode. <laughs> um, so we got to show it off. Yeah, I mean you're like twice the size of these things. You yeah. know, this is just back and forth, and, uh, a little swaying. A little squeezing. The few of them that are up here on the stage sort of seem to like back be backing away from you, but they do seem to be. I, I, don't, I wouldn't say surprised, but but they're clearly uh, you 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 assume they're trying to communicate with you, but not able to do so. Yeah. yeah. Well. They lack your special training. We have to communicate. Well, first of all, let's take the thing. Or are you going to remove the semi-rigid umbilicus? We're going to have to. One of us, at least, is going to have going to have to get out and uh, grab it. You know what? This is where we have to ask ourselves: Are we men or are we mice? I'm on the top, so I guess that's going to probably be easy, fast, quickest for me to. Then you better pull out. Yep. Uh, all right. Just give me a second here. Pull out. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. I'll be right behind you, buddy. All right. Well, you leave the semi-rigid umbilicus. Um, 
and find yourself standing nude on this stage um, in front of you don't even know a half a million a festival audience. brain worms. Is it cold on this planet? <laughs> <laughs> it, I, I'm gonna say for comedy. Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, just in case anyone has a, any uh, ideas about uh, my body, trying to body shave me. Um, it, you know, the temperature is very chilly. I, he, he stops to explain that to the slugs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have ears. Um, <laughs> but so, as soon as they sense that you're out, yeah, and you're, you're like, out, <laughs> um, they start <clears throat> slithering towards you. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go fast. I'm gonna gonna tr- now that start effect. Is on the like top, like he's wearing it. No, oh, no, it's no. sitting on the stage oh, okay. um, between, basically between you and these brain worms, which are now approaching it and well, you. I'm, I'm gonna run towards it and grab it if I can. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna try to get out of the umbilicus as well. Okay, well, Dweek runs over and grabs the start effect, coming pretty close to some of these brain worms. Um, oh. You just love it when you hear the GM say, uh-oh. No, nope, that's a... No. They, they, they are clearly trying to <laughs> get, touch you or wrap you up in their slimy... But they they fail to, to, to get to you, so... Um, you have the start effect now, and you and Buck is emerging from the body condom. Um, Here we go. Wh- what are you, you just running? We're gonna have to just run for it. Run back yep. to the ship. Yep. At this point. All right. Well, run. You're running, and these yeah. things are f- following you, but they're pretty slow. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm counting on. Oh, we forgot to bring salt. Oh, we should have doused the whole planet with salt. We should have stopped by an asteroid made of salt. Well, hey, we just, can always we can always do that. Come back and just, just ride salt this whole planet. Got to go to a, like a salt mine or something. And well, let's stock get going. up. It's hard to talk while we're running, though. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, this at this speed, it only takes you, you know. 10 minutes. It's a lot easier to run than to squirm. Yeah, than to squirm. Um, so nude and greased up running back to the ship are Buck and Dweek and arriving there well before any of the brain worms have a chance to do much of anything. Ha <laughs> You suck it, worms. Rush on board and Flurf is ecstatic that you've uh, Oh, you recovered the third effect. Did it for you, buddy. And uh, now you see that in the time it took you to run here, apparently some of the worms got into one of their ships because it is now taking off um, oh. from the area where you ju- that you just left. Oh. Um but I assume you're going to be doing the same thing. Yeah, we're going to get in there and punch it. We're going to get out of here. No time to put our clothes on. we got to go. No time. No time. All right. Um, make a laser scroll bump. No! No! All right. Well, you, you're able to get it up, but you can't get it out. All right. Uh, before the brain Before it's on us. Oh, oh, here they are. They're on top of us faster than I thought. And um, they don't seem to have weapons, but they are going... I mean, they seem to be trying to aggressively dock with you. Yeah. No, I can't remember. Does the jackrabbit... Or Jack what, Raptor. That, Jack Raptor, does that... Um, have any weapons of its own? 
No, it's not according to my notes. I just know we're fast and bulbous and nimble. We're very nimble though. We might be able to squeeze our way out of this yet. Um, I do not, I do not, do not believe well armed was one of the traits of the jack rabbit. No, I know that. You know, we were nimble <coughs> and fast. But okay. you, so, so you don't have any, any, any great weapons. I mean, this is an exploratory ship, but yeah, you've got like laser cannons. Oh well, we've got laser cannons then. Right. We've got lasers. I have the feeling we should use them. All right. <coughs> well, somebody make a laser from. Fire, Dweek! I'll get us out of here. I'll still I'll try to get around him. Damn it. What I wait a minute, lasers are under the number? Correct. And you have a two? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. why you keep saying I keep, like I keep thinking you're, you're good at opposite. that. <laughs> Tweak? I'm like, no, I'm not. I guess I think it, I'm not that much better than you, but I'm piloting anyway. Well, at least we're glistening like a firecracker right now. <laughs> Lasers going wild, but not hitting much. Not hitting much, and the brainworm ship is approaching your airlock. Crap door. Um, make a laser roll buck to get out of there. Failing. No, failing. Hmm. Who'd have thought there'd be so many lasers in a science fiction game? Well. Well, we're gonna, we're in trouble now, Dweek. They're right on top of us. Uh, we're gonna have to fight. Are you sure this star effect doesn't do anything magical or something? I'm not uh, sure of anything, but Fleur... I don't know. Just how I was had it. Search your feelings. Maybe you can... It's gotta have some kind of hold, power. Hold it aloft. Wave it at them. Well, I don't know. Why don't you look at it? I'm gonna observe it. We've only got a few seconds. Study it real fast to see if there's anything. Uh, what can you see, Dweek? Make a feelings roll. Okay. And this. Search your feelings, too. I got oh, laser, laser feelings. feelings. Right when you need them. Ooh. Well. So, I get to ask a question. Yes. And I guess that would be. Does this thing actually have any powers? Yes. Yeah, I should have just asked. <laughs> How do I access those powers? I I, I will elaborate. Yeah. Um. <laughs> this device um is a some sort of elaborate mind control device that can be used to target humans well. from across the vast reaches of space. Uh, okay. That's how they got the Admiral. Yeah. Well, maybe we can uh, use this to call to, like, make people come help us or something. Call for reinforcements. Well, that's what they were using it for, was to get dinner to bring itself to them. Not anymore. But not anymore. Because uh, we're, we're in trouble, and, and we've got to get some other people to come yeah, Dweek, here you're the, and help us. You're the one with mystical powers, Dweek. You're going to have to reach, stretch out your mind uh, across the galaxy. I'm the chosen one. That's right, you're the chosen one. You've got to stretch out your mind to the Admiral and have, send him here with the fleet. There's only one solution for this planet, the final solution. Wipe these people from the and face final of the galaxy. Salt solution. Solution. <laughs> Saline right. solution. <laughs> oh, tell him to tell him to stock up. Yeah, I'm gonna try to saline on these bastards. I'm gonna try to uh, use this thing to communicate with the admiral. Fleur, if your people were sitting on a mystical artifact and they had no idea. Um, unfortunately, you have to interact with it telepathically. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, that's. But your, you can interact with the admiral using the view screen. Although now maybe we like, smash this thing. Well, I'm sorry, uh, Fleur. No. It, well, destroying it might be the only way to break the uh, spell that it has on the Admiral. So, uh, but first let me, let's call up the Admiral. Get we him on his way. Alright, we'll 
call him up. Well, there's no time for that right now because the brain worm. Oh, shoot, that's right. They're uh, almost on their way through the airlock. Well, they're they're most docked with it. At which point they will be on their way through. Oh, what do you mean? Like, how are they docking with it? Like, are they butting up against it? Yeah, basic forcible okay. docking. Um, but you may attempt to evade them once again. I was gonna say one, one last shot. I want to go with my guts. I want to search out and use my feelings. All right. All right. And I said no means no. And of course you roll. Now I roll. Now I, well, you know what? Lasers or feelings, I ain't got it tonight. All right, well, they, uh, too late. they butt up come. against y your ship. Oh, that's rude. And uh, begin attempting to, you don't know, get into your airlock somehow. Set our, f set our phase pistols to kill. Fleur, if here's the captain's old face pistol, you better use it. If they breach the ship, and it's not going to be space worthy, so you don't know what they're trying to do here, but you might want to try to blow them up before they get through. I'll try. Yeah, go for it. Would you like to use your feelings? Shoot blindly huh. and just trust. Well, then, in that case, do it, Twig. You succeed in causing some damage to their ship. Lasers boring into it and uh, causing them to break off. Back off. And now, Buck, evade them. Yeah. Successfully. We gotta get out of here. Lasers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, laser, laser feelings. Right when I needed it. Well, I don't really want to ask so much as I just want to get the hell out of here. Rip, you know, prevent them from following. Well, I don't know if I can prevent them from following, but I want to get to orbit. How do I best get to orbit and leave them behind in the dust? Punch it. That's right. Punch it. All right. Well. Their ship being damaged um, is not able to follow you immediately, so you walk it through the atmosphere, uh, picking up velocity towards escape velocity, and um, find yourself in orbit, and I'm assuming setting a course to get the hell out of here. Yeah. We gotta set course back to where we came from, back to headquarters. Yes, so... We have a dilemma, I think, though, <coughs> because um, we might, like I said, we might have to destroy this thing. We can either uh, tr try to tinker with it some more, maybe, and, and maybe uh, figure out how to get the Admiral back, or if not, we can try destroying it rather than just giving it to uh, the Flurfs. Oh, it's ours. Yeah, but it's, it's too bad. Too dangerous. It's much too dangerous. We could... Well, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll give it back to you later. We just... Let's just make a facsimile of it. We can give him that. Yeah. I heard that. Oh, damn it. You don't know what facsimile means. Yeah, you don't know what you heard. Well... It sounds like it can mind control humans. We make them give us all the poop. <laughs> Don't you dare! <laughs> no, uh, that, that's 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 not for us to decide, Flurf. That's for Fleet Command. Yeah, you shouldn't have that kind of power. No one should have that kind of power. Well, I think uh, your comms console starts uh, flashing. Oh, right. we got, here we go. All right, yellow. Oh, well, we forgot to put our clothes on, but hello. <laughs> <laughs> Good sense. Uh, Stevens. Yes. What the hell? Oh, it's, uh, it's Why are you nude and greased up? <laughs> it's a long story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I think you're going to need to explain yourself. Well, we we had we were undercover. We were wearing. Well, a, it was very cold out. First of all, <laughs> I, I can tell. It's still kind of. I'm still kind of trying to warm up. You know, I haven't gotten. I'm a lot warmer. 
as you can see. Yeah, I haven't, uh, you know, even though it's warmer inside, I'm still, my body's still chilled, so <laughs> it takes a while. No, we, we just haven't had time to put on our clothes yet. We, we're escaping as we speak from the planet. <laughs> Looks like an acorn next to a walnut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Admiral, please focus on what's important here. We, we, we're heading en route right now back to Fleet Command. Um, we have recovered the artifact. It belongs to the, the little fact. The artifact of the Florfians. We have gotten it. We've got it. We we're examining it, bringing it back right now. We had to penetrate the planet in disguise. We disguised ourselves as a large specimen of. The worm people, and we've uh, recovered this. We do expect some pursuit, perhaps. However, what and happened to you, the captain? Well, I'm afraid the captain died. Yeah, he died of his of his sickness and his injuries. You know, and uh, well, that's very unfortunate. I'm sure it is. I'm sure that you're. But you know, if you're in your right mind, you you might. Uh, we have reason to believe you've been yeah. compromised, sir. I would, uh, I, yeah, I think, um... What are you talking about? Use, use the stone to mind control him. Well, I can't, I can't use that start effect because I don't have telepathy. Oh, how do you know you don't have telepathy? What, the brain worms are telepathic? Of course we, they're telepathic. We believe so. Makes sense. We believe they're reaching out to you, and they've convinced you to send us here to bring them yeah, dinner. You, using this Sir. device. That's insane. We feel f- uh-huh. confident that once so, our scientists study this device, it will bear out our tale. Uh, what are your orders? We'll go back to the planet? No. Okay. You've got the artifact. Because if you said you'd go back to the planet, then I thought maybe you were still uh, under the influence. No, I think you should bring that artifact to headquarters immediately. We need to study it. I and couldn't agree more. I'm getting the feeling we need to dispatch uh, the fleet to... ZZ9, plural Z Alpha, can go to war with these foul words. Admiral, war is the only language they will understand. Yeah, well, except for uh, telepathy, but we don't understand that, so we have no idea what they've been saying or anything, but they're, they've been trying to attack us, and they stole that artifacts, so I think they're bad things. And, and the, oh, they the captain, what they did to the captain. What they did to the captain was unspeakable. Yeah. What did they do to the captain? They infected him with a terrible disease. You yourself saw him. Yeah, but a, a worm. Uh, no, I didn't. A baby worm. Talking? You were under control of the mind worms. That were, that's what we're telling you. Don't worry. We're going we're gonna to go back and back all this up in our logs and find that phone call. We'll present it for you as evidence when we get back. All right. Very well. Well, hurry back, and I look forward to uh, hearing your debrief when you uh, return. Yes, first we'll need some briefs before we can debrief. <laughs> yes, I think you will. So I guess I guess what I think I hear you saying is that I'm the captain now officially, is that right? But good sense, I hereby declare you captain of the Jack Raptor. <laughs> oh, Buck. I think it's a perfect place to, to stop. Yeah. yeah.